The Oklahoma Department of Corrections takes great pride in rehabilitating inmates and preparing them for successful re-entry into society. Here at Oklahoma State Reformatory in Granite, these men are taking comprehensive welding classes. Well, a lot of these guys, when they come in here, they're, they're looking for precisely that. Uh, they're, they're sick of, uh, they're, they're tired of, uh, you know, going down the wrong path, and they're looking for a way that they can go back into society. Lectures and hands-on lab time. I've gotten over 600 hours now, and I've, I've, I've learned a lot. Everything they need to know to weld, cut, and shape metal. I mean, it gives you a pretty good opportunity, you know, in prison to, to learn, all, learn all this, all the basics about welding, so when I do get out, I'll be able to get a good job. Inmates ultimately receive welding certificates and industry-recognized credentials within these prison walls. There's tons of jobs out there right now for, for welders. In fact, the American Welding Society estimates there will be a shortage of nearly 300,000 welding-related jobs by 2020. They're, they're begging for welders in Oklahoma City and Tulsa. And, These guys uh, can make good money. Yes, yes, they make real good money. There are many reasons why released prisoners return to crime, but a main cause is certainly economic. We actually uh, help them find jobs. At OSR, there is a commitment to education and vocational training. It is the most effective way to reduce recidivism.